Hello people, this is Mark from Color Change Works. Guys, hope that you're well. Short story time, but before we get there, please subscribe, share, comment, hit the like button. Uh, you know, the YouTube admin, as I often refer to it as. Thank you very much. Short story. This one is shorter than normal, but um, it will make sense as we go along. Let's have a read. It simply states the frog and the scorpion. One day a scorpion stood at the side of a stream and asked a frog to carry it to the other side. How do I know you won't sting me? asked the frog. Because if I sting you, I'll drown, the scorpion said. The frog thought about it and realized that the scorpion was right. So he put the scorpion on its back and started ferrying him. But midway across the stream, the scorpion plunged its stinger into the frog's back. And they both begin to drown. Why? gasped the frog. The scorpion replied. Because it's my nature. Isn't that an interesting story? And let's talk about this for a little while. You see, if the frog had an understanding of what the nature of a scorpion was, he would never have even engaged in the conversation with a scorpion. He would have, needless to say, lived a little bit longer. The scorpion, however, would have been stranded at the wrong side of the river. It is just a matter of fact, as I look at it objectively. What I come to realize here is, uh, and I might give a couple of uh, different examples here, but uh, let's have a look at this. And if it is that you might have different opinions or uh, different examples that would be fantastic to hear in the comments box now my initial observation of this little story is that the frog thought and considered helping the scorpion from point a to point b and not only did he think about it but he actually did help and isn't it amazing that the one who does the helping is the one that gets hurt. That, my friend, is a true reflection on society nowadays. The one who helps is the one who gets stabbed in the back. The one who helps is the one who considers taking people from point A to point B, regardless of the danger that's there. It's the helpers that end up being stabbed. Let's look at this from the other point of view. We're all on a journey. We all need to cross a particular river of some sort. And unless we have conversations with others who are more skilled at what we do, we will not actually make progression in this life. We need each other. It's a community, social kind of thing in order for us to move on and embetter ourselves and these kind of things. See, without the frog, the scorpion would never have been able to make it across the river in order to move on. So as much as the helper got stung, both parties need each other in order to get from point A to point B. That's my number two as far as observations go. And number three is the person who will stab you in their back will always do harm because it's their nature to do harm. And what I find is regardless of what they say, uh, that's irrelevant. It's what they do that actually defines who they are. See, the scorpion can turn around and say to the frog, listen, I'll put my sting there right as far back as I possibly can. You're safe. For now. 
The scorpion stings. The end. It can't help itself. It doesn't know what to do other than sting. And let me tell you now, my friend, the world is full of frogs and there is also full of scorpions. My personal experience with scorpions is the people who you work, work with, the people who are in your family, believe me, people who are sort of on the perimeter of your social circles. My advice is not to listen to what they say, but look at what they do. Someone said, talk is cheap. We live in a plastic world. We live in a disposable world. Everything is cheap. Everything is replaceable. Mm, so it is. But my friend, if you are the frog or the frog equivalent in this little story, the helper, the kind one, the generous one, the, the loving one, those kind of things, trust me, the scorpion will seek you out. Why? I don't know. Maybe is it because you are vulnerable? Is it because you are kind? Because you are helpful? Because you are caring and loving and all these good quality things? The scorpion has only got one agenda. It's got no other. It, destroy. It doesn't matter if it places its own life at risk. The scorpion can't help itself. It has to sting. So what I'm saying to you here is quite simply, be careful who you engage relationships with. Especially if you have observed and have personal experience of said level of toxicity. Experience in the destruction that these scorpions execute on a day-to-day -day basis. And my friend, when people say nice things, when they are different in their behavior, you are dealing with a scorpion. And let me tell you now, at some point in the future, regardless of the circumstances, you will get stung. You see, life produces these rivers for us to try and cross over, these obstacles. And it is also at set points where we really need to unite as a community. We need to unite as a society. We need to reunite as a people. But that is also when the frog is at its most vulnerable because the scorpions walk among us. So the minute for you as a helper, for you as the frog, say, I can help you from point A to point B. Make sure that you've got a armor plate on your back because the scorpion will take you for a ride and you will get stung. It is a fact of nature. So what I want to say to you at this particular point in time, the world is full of helpers and full of destroyers. If I were to kind of combine those two and say, right, let's cut them in half and say, these are those and these are the others. Let me tell you now, you would be surprised at who are the ones who are the scorpions. Keep your eyes open Pay attention is what I'm trying to say to you here. Don't be fooled by cheap talk. Hollow, empty words. Be more attentive to behavior. Be more attentive to what they do. Be more aware if you have experience of these scorpions in your life. Don't for one minute think that they will change. It's their DNA after all. I am referring to narcissists and 
other toxic people. I will even go as far as to say a lot of the statutory authorities are scorpion. It is a true fact. Pay attention. Be aware. Stand up. If you're dealing with a scorpion, you'd be wise to say, find someone else. Find another way to cross the stream. Save yourself, that's what I'm saying. That's all I want to say at this junction, my friend. And I would like to hear your story about scorpions and your experience as a frog when you've tried to help other people. What's the outcome? Please do all the YouTube admin, the like, the share, the subscribe and all these kind of thing. For now, this is Mark from Color Strange Works. I'll speak to you soon.